Timothy Barlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? Hi, Billy. I'm here. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. A security guard is walking up a stairwell on his overnight shift when he hears this. Posted to TikTok, Simon Lockhart shines his flashlight on the floors below and above and can't tell from which direction the footsteps are coming, but then they come running at him. Oh my what the f what the f Bro. Bro. If your heart just jumped into your throat, you're not alone. Some in the comments say they see a face in the door. When he looks up, do you see it? Is this what is chasing him? Oh my, what the f what the f Two co-workers at a radio station are hearing really strange noises from the basement and want to investigate. They recently heard that a nearby building was haunted and decided to see if the paranormal activity was spreading to their area. The woman in this video says that she went downstairs to get some water and heard these really strange noises. Can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can hear it. It sounds like screaming. Yeah, it sounds like there's like screaming coming from the pipes. Or like growling or something weird. They are talking about how old the building is as they walk down an old stairway to the basement entrance. The noise is growing louder the entire time. They take a deep breath and head to the final stretch of their journey. Eventually, they come across a rather ominous sign. If you've ever seen a horror movie, you see this sign and obviously you don't keep out, you go in. No, you don't, you stay out. The person filming bravely walks in and the video ends. We'll never know if this was a paranormal entity or just common boiler room problems. Dark Mystic is the name of a paranormal YouTuber in Russia who intends on exploring an abandoned cottage home in the middle of some pretty scary woods late at night. He wants to determine what kind of paranormal entities haunt this abandoned building and he's certain he's caught creepy things on camera. He finds a room with half the walls covered in newspaper clippings. They look to have been carefully cut out and are not overlapping, which to me means they were meant to be read instead of part of a remodeling project or something like that. If you speak Russian, what do these headlines say? I can't help but suspect this is a trophy room and someone is proud of making the news. Who is there? He hears somebody cough, but nothing is there. It's creepy, but the paranormal activity really picks up when he goes exploring the haunted attic. <laughs> he keeps hearing objects getting thrown around, dropped, or otherwise moving on their own. When Dark Mystic goes to check what they are, something moves into the doorway as if rolled into place by a ghostly hand. Dark Mystic is certain that something paranormal is toying with him and arms himself. He may be right, but I'm not sure what use a blunt force instrument would be on something not of this world. 
a being made of shadows that peeks at him from around the door. Dark Mystic is the name of a paranormal YouTuber in Russia who intends on exploring an abandoned cottage home in the middle of some pretty scary woods late at night. He wants to determine what kind of paranormal entities haunt this abandoned building, and he's certain he's caught creepy things on camera. He finds a room with half the walls covered in newspaper clippings. They look to have been carefully cut out and are not overlapping, which to me means they were meant to be read instead of part of a remodeling project or something like that. If you speak Russian, what do these headlines say? I can't help but suspect this is a trophy room and someone is proud of making the news. <laughs> He hears somebody cough, but nothing is there. It's creepy, but the paranormal activity really picks up when he goes exploring the haunted attic. He keeps hearing objects getting thrown around, dropped, or otherwise moving on their own. When Dark Mystic goes to check what they are, something moves into the doorway as if rolled into place by a ghostly hand. Dark Mystic is certain that something paranormal is toying with him and arms himself. He may be right, but I'm not sure what use a blunt force instrument would be on something not of this world. A being made of shadows that peeks at him from around the door. A YouTuber wants to go exploring at an old abandoned school on the edge of the town in Searsboro, Iowa. A place rumored to be haunted and made even scarier by some nearby creepy woods. The school was shut down two times and nobody really knows why, or at least the local townsfolk don't want to say. The inside is trashed and has no power, and yet their equipment makes a low rumble from an electronic disturbance coming from this stairway. Notice how the sound goes away as soon as they turn away from the steps. Do we even want to try and go like that? Should we go across the catwalk yeah, or this way? Something paranormal is definitely up there. A strange feeling keeps them all away. In the next room, this rope moves by itself and then a bucket quickly follows. A second rope gets pulled and it's hard to say if all of this is a ghost or one of them off camera. On their way out of the abandoned property, they find this creepy secret room. Why a school would have a hidden room is beyond me, and also beyond creepy. Keeping a student down there would definitely get your school shut down. They find another small room hidden away and decide to go in. Inside is a message that says something bad happened in this secret room. It's an old worn message written long ago. Not by them, but perhaps a former student. A creepy noise ends the exploration as fast as it began, and when they look back at the abandoned building, they see what could be a pale ghost in the window. Lispy Jimmy is a popular YouTuber and streamer with a loyal audience, but when somebody drops by his house uninvited at 3am, he feels alarmed instead of flattered. What to do? I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is a fan or not, but... Now, Lispy Jimmy finds himself in a scary predicament. He definitely does not want to go outside and risk getting attacked, but at the same time, he wants to catch this person on camera for future evidence. He decides to open the door and cautiously scans the yard. He doesn't see anything at first, but then there is some movement across the street. A tall man looks to be in distress as he paces in circles for no apparent reason at all. It's creepy enough to make Lispy Jimmy retreat into the house and check all the locks. 
He and his girlfriend spend the rest of the video wondering if someone else is there with them and jumping at every sound they hear. But they make it through the rest of the night without incident. I guess they could have staged this video with the help of a friend, but there is also a good chance that it could be a random fan or even an absolute stranger. There just isn't enough evidence for me to tell for sure, but I would like to get your impressions. Tyler Heitzen is bored in math class when he notices a ceiling panel going berserk all by itself. None of the other ones are moving except this one, though I can't say why. I know it can't be a fan blowing or anything like that because the Snapchat audio is very clear. Take a listen. If this is real, like he says, then I think it might be time for Tyler to transfer classes and maybe even schools. Apparition or not, can we explain what this is? Published to YouTube in November of 2015, On Demand News writes, YouTube user Mazda Frio claims to have caught a ghost on CCTV at his house in Perth, Australia. The CCTV footage shows a vapory white object moving against the parked vehicles in the driveway. It is at first a blur, but it sometimes hovers, becoming a bit more solid when it does. What is this? Some YouTubers think it's a spiderweb strand, while others suggest it's a reflection in a glass window. Green Polo Boy 3 has perhaps the most unique reply writing. It's the wandering soul of a piece of wood that was burned with fire 412 years ago. While that is strangely specific, I'm not sure if that's the case here. Nevertheless, this certainly does seem paranormal to me. If only there was other CCTV cameras nearby from multiple angles. This infrared video from 2008, taken by a ghost hunting squad in South Dakota called the SP. CTR details paranormal evidence at an abandoned house haunted by the spirit of a child. A mysterious figure peers around the corner at the end of the dark hallway. A ghost if you ask, the SPCTR team, but I'm not so sure. The figure doesn't seem very tall and has shoulder length hair. If you look closely at 18 seconds, so maybe this was a little ghost girl in the hallway after all. If this is fake, then one of the paranormal investigators is crouched down to make themselves look like a kid. Tell me if you think this paranormal evidence is legit, or if this was a made up sighting from the early days of YouTube. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, this scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <coughs> The man is captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exercise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. <laughs> Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jinn. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. I'm being followed. <laughs> Have you ever got the feeling that you were being followed? What if it were true? A YouTuber published this video of his experience being stalked in Japan in February of 2011. In the video, he explains that when he turned on his camera, this female stalker became interested in what he was up to, so she started following him. Despite his rather roundabout route, which he was using to try and lose her, 
You can see the woman over his shoulder, dressed all in black in a long coat with very pale skin. To make matters scarier, it's raining. The gloominess results in heightened fear. So what is this woman doing? Why is she following some random stranger in the street? Some even speculated that this man was in serious danger. Whoever she is, I'd get out of there, and fast. Mocha Vids and his friends are making a random YouTube video late at night when a lone stranger starts walking close behind. Dude, there's like a creeper following us. After a while, they turn around only to find the man briskly gaining on them. Mocha Vitz quickly considers his options and ultimately decides not to confront the person. The audio gets real choppy during this next part, but I think they are basically saying that the man is darting between houses and acting really weird. Seconds later, he apparently charges at them. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> it's hard to say if the danger presented in this video is real or dramatized. You never actually see the person run at them, but at the same time that also kind of makes the video more realistic because they are too busy getting away to catch anything. Either way, they manage to run back home and the incident is soon forgotten. Let me know if you think they really were being chased or not based on what you've seen here. It turns out public buses are rife with incidents of alleged possessed people. This one turned up in San Luis, Argentina on June 7th, 2016. A woman sits with her eyes closed, her head rolling around at random, and her mouth opening and closing. She is jerking all over, not once opening her eyes, and a terrible sound is heard at times coming from her mouth. What she is saying, if anything, is indiscernible. She continues jerking around, looking quite possessed, until a man walks forward and shakes her shoulder, attempting to bring her back around. The man says something to her, and she shouts back in her scratchy, possessed voice. He places his hand on her forehead, and that's where the footage ends. Was he attempting an exorcism? Was he doing something more sinister? It seems we'll never know. There's an alleged wolf cryptid that's said to roam the Allegheny National Park in Kane, Pennsylvania. The first sighting in 2017 describes it as tall, muscular, dark hair and strange legs. This newer sighting two years later at the same location does show a mysterious creature with long pointy wolf-like ears, but I'm not sure if it's real. First of all, when it takes a step at 44 seconds, the legs look normal and I'm pretty sure it's wearing clothes, not fur. Even the uploader of this video thinks it could have been a kid playing a joke. He says that the creature turned and ran after this video was taken, which I guess could have happened. But something about this video seems like it could have been made up, so I'm not exactly sure what to believe. Ever wondered what goes on in a pharmacy late at night? Well, apparently it's wilder than you think. Egyptune published this creepy video in January of 2015. It's footage that will make you swear off pharmacies for a good long while. The green hue and flashing monitor on the desk are spooky enough to set the scene. Then the action begins. A white chair in the office starts to move all of its own accord, jerking to the left then being lifted right up into the air before landing back down on the floor. It pulls slowly to the right, then yanks to the left again. A little later, something gaseous spurts out below, leaving black marks in the footage. Some in the comments of the video say this footage has been edited, or suggest the chair is being jerked around with strings. But maybe, just maybe, someone wasn't given the right prescription, and his ghost is seeking revenge. I, for one, hope he gets it. When Joey Salvatore and his friends learn that their entire neighborhood is rumored to be haunted, they go to the local cemetery and try to get something on tape. 
they don't really find much and eventually come back home, but it looks like something found them and managed to attach itself to a friend named Roger. Now, he is standing motionless with his back to them in a dark room, and they are too freaked out to do anything more than secretly record his reflection in a mirror. After a while, he sits down and stops moving completely, so they decide to put Roger in his room and check on him later. Roger is nowhere to be found, at least not at first. Wait, turn the light on. <gasps> what the f Roger! I'm the they are totally freaking out when Roger comes wandering back into the room completely fine, wondering what had happened. The group feels unsafe at this point and has no choice but to send Roger on his way. Eventually, Roger says that he was just playing a joke on them, but it's unclear if he really means it or if he is just in denial. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns, which which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. When demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada, told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror, leering behind him. Then they experience some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor Jazz Doubt writes, that sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon. And to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. What is moving in the darkness on this foggy road? The YouTuber thinks he's spotted a skinwalker. He gets out of his car to take a closer look, but when he does... Skinwalker or not, you'd better run. This abandoned house was a favorite haunt for squatters, and now it will soon be the favorite haunt of urban explorers. Published to YouTube by Lomar Mendez in March 2021, Omar and Chelsea dig right into this seriously creepy house. Littered with random garbage left behind, graffiti on the walls, and antique gems that look like they've been around for at least a century. Wandering through the house, Omar opens a door and as he does, listen closely. You can hear a voice whisper, look. I don't know, I've really been here in about a year and a half. The very first time we came here, we actually found homeless people stuff upstairs. 
A detour into the bathroom brings viewers one of the grossest things seen in this top 10, a pile of discarded hair in the sink. They enter a bedroom, which might explain all the hair, as the room once housed people. Their belongings are still scattered across the floor. Further along, they find scraps of paper with strange noises written on them. They say, disintegrates with light and zap the ground. As they're heading upstairs, something falls in the room behind them pushing them to pick up the pace. But now they have one problem. There's no way out. They wait around upstairs, but no one approaches, and nothing more is heard. Using an electromagnetic field detector, they sense energy in the home, though the electricity isn't on. It's a steady current. Look at that. Is there a spirit in here? Was this your house? Yo, it's steady. Like, for real. The necrophonic device they use in the basement seems to confirm that energy. When they ask who's in the house with them, a voice says hi, and later, sir, hi. Who's in here with us? Are you hiding? They continue to communicate with the spirits and an orb appears in the top right corner of the door. Did a spirit just enter? Was this your home? They ask the spirits to make a noise for them. It almost sounds like it says ghost. Can you make a noise for us? They both start to feel ill and uneasy. As they're getting ready to leave, Omar says he felt like the entire house shook. I almost thought I, like, it almost felt like the house shook. Like the entire house, right there, just shook. I don't think I've done that. That's like demonic. Not long after, while they're speaking to each other, an orb appears to drift from Chelsea's head. I don't know, but it's like really eerie, quiet now, and like. Yeah, it's really quiet. Have the spirits attached to their new hosts? If that's the case, that would truly mama my Mia. The last thing you would want to encounter when driving on a deserted stretch of road at night is a ghost. Shot in Delhi, Aman Kumar published this video in August of 2018. As you can see, the driver and his passenger have spotted a figure up ahead in their headlights. So they approach slowly and then stop. <laughs> The figure ahead is moving across the road at a snail's pace. The driver flashes his brights and low lights on and off several times, but this doesn't affect the figure's pace in the slightest. The figure continues to move slowly across the road, and then another figure. The driver keeps flashing his lights on and off, trying to get the figures to move. They seem to have converged in the middle of the road. It's unclear if the ghostly figures start to approach, but the passenger starts to panic. The driver continues to flash his lights on and off, and at the same time backs up a ways. Even after three whole minutes, the figures are still there. That's where the footage ends. We don't know if the path ever cleared for these two, but what we do know is you never know when you might meet the afterlife. This is said to be a real ghost video from Singapore. A woman jogs down the road when she has a creepy encounter with a stranger who may or may not be paranormal. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't hear any footsteps until he is running away. It's like he was never behind, and when she looks to where he just was, he's gone. Then he passes again and things get even scarier. <laughs> you could pass somebody twice like this if you ran a wide loop around them, but why he would do this and scare her is something I doubt we could ever explain.
I don't think this is paranormal, but I do think acting this way is not normal. I think it's most likely a short film, but there are no credits and it presents itself as a real ghost video caught on camera in the description. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance, in the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Ow. No, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet since it can't be finished growing if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a big snake. And it's somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains if you have any plumbing hooked up down there. Once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over 3 feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. If you're looking for a haunted location, your best bet is to choose somewhere with a scary history. Steve Ronan, an American urban explorer, traveled to the United Kingdom to investigate a Victorian style mansion, believed to be the site of a gruesome taking of life. Despite its longevity, the event took place in 2006 when then homeowner Christopher Lumsden ended his wife's life in a jealous rage. She had allegedly just returned from dinner with her lover when the incident occurred. Despite the viciousness of the event, Lumsden only served five and a half years when he was released on license, the British legal system's equivalent of parole. Intrigued by the story, Ronan decided to investigate at the home in order to see if he could come up with answers. Upon arrival, the front of the house is littered with large trash, including several beds, some broken walls, and what appears to be clothing. At the time the video was filmed, renovations were ongoing to prepare the house to be put up for sale. It is unknown if the trash was from the house itself or was left there randomly, but it would be strange if so many pieces of clothing were left behind. The first bit of the video is Ronan and his team exploring the house, finding it in a state of disrepair. At one point, they find a strange piece of wallpaper on the floor. The same system is seen covering the walls of a room. Written on it are various strange phases, including Carpe Diem Dungeons Fire, Jungle Truth or Dare Power, 
What this means is a mystery, and it's a strange design to have as a wallpaper. Things quickly take a turn for the creepy when they find a red stain on the floor of one of the rooms in front of a dresser. On closer inspection, it is a sizable red blot stained into the floorboard that was once beneath the now torn up carpet. It definitely is believable that it's what we're all thinking, since the coloration does resemble when such a stain has aged over time. One of the crew decides to shine a UV light on the spot. As he explains, the spot remains visible as a dark purple under the light, instead of blending into the floor. Also, while it is not mentioned, there are spots that weren't visible when the light wasn't on. Going off the find, they decide to begin a spirit box session in the the room. The method they use is simple, as they find a radio and rapidly shift through the channels. After a couple of questions and one false alarm, a voice comes through the static saying, You were tricked. You were tricked. Did you just hear you were tricked? This is strange as immediately before that, they were discussing whether or not they were deceived into believing another house entirely was the location of the gruesome life taking. At the beginning of the video, they spoke with a security guard of another residence who claimed the occupied house was the actual location of the incident. However, they were not allowed in and went to this house nearby that is also said to be where the incident happened. Could it be possible they are communicating with something who knows they were tricked? The group hears various answers come through the radio, although admittedly it is hard to hear whether it is actually something answering them or simply words from the radio programs coming through and sounding like answers. Next, the group decides to conduct an EVP session to see if they can hear anything else. During the session, the group hears noises and something like shuffling is picked up on the EVP. At this time, nobody in the room is moving or talking. They also hear something that sounds like chewing or moving their mouth. After asking a question, some sort of faint whisper can be heard right before the next question is asked. If so, who was the one who murdered you? Unfortunately, it's too difficult to decipher what, if anything, is being said as it is too quiet. After nothing else seems to come through, finally the group uses an actual spirit box, which automatically and rapidly changes stations so quickly you can't hear what is being said by the program. Ronan asks if anyone can tell what happened and if there was an event of a life being taken. Soon after, a voice comes through with what sounds like yes, immediately followed by what sounds like someone died. Soon, a male voice comes through with what Ronan thinks sounds like wasn't me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The moment that is guaranteed to send chills down your spine is when a woman, either laughing, crying, or possibly screaming, can be heard. The investigation wraps soon after, and Ronan leaves with what could be considered valuable evidence. The event that occurred in the home has left an imprint, and not just the stain on the floor. Two people are heading down the road when a third person looks right at them and steps in their path. Watch this part and you can see that he clearly waits for them to get close and does this on purpose. But here's where things get really strange. According to the uploader, when he turned around, the man was completely gone. He called the police and they had no luck finding him either. Could this have been a spirit doomed to repeat its last moments on Earth? Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. Oh, what was that sound? 
Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3am, at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a... They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Ah, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. A YouTuber named Leviathan has an old barn in the woods where scary noises have been coming from late at night. Many sleepless nights later, he works up the courage to take a friend with him to investigate the strange sounds coming from the haunted barn in the woods. When he goes inside, he finds that the barn is not haunted like he thought. It's something way worse than that. Would someone tell me what this is, writes Leviathan. It's an unknown creature sighting to him, but I've seen enough scary videos to immediately guess what it is. The rake. He lets the scary creature have the barn and doesn't go outside for two months until one night he hears it making scary noises in the woods, much closer this time, as in right by his house. Against his better judgment, he takes an old busted flashlight outside for a final creature sighting he'll never forget. Crouched behind a tree making hideous hissing clicking sounds is the rake, the same creature he caught on camera in the barn. He keeps a respectable distance, but it's not far enough. Who knows how fast this thing can run, especially on all fours. Luckily for him, it hangs back in the forest and lets him run home. Both of these videos were taken in 2020 and seems to be part of a new wave of rake sightings from all over the world. High quality videos of the rake, like this one, are cropping up all over YouTube and they are not grainy at all. Hopefully this new rash of creature sightings is a video editing trend and not an indication that mysterious creatures are creeping out of the woods. Creepy, right? A YouTuber named DX5K doesn't really believe in Bloody Mary, but at the same time, he just can't seem to stop trying to summon her. This is his third try, and it seems to be going as poorly as the other two attempts. He gets an idea and decides that he should try to summon her in total darkness, and that's when things start to get interesting in a potentially paranormal way. Maybe without the candle. Wow, I tried to blow the candle out and it came back on. Let's try it again. Wow, that's actually spooky. I can't blow the candle out. Now, this is getting interesting. This is what I like. Let's go. The candle continues to stay lit despite blowing straight on it. You can hear the curiosity in his voice as DX5K starts to consider the possibility that he may not be alone after all. He quickly shakes the thought out of his mind and tries to blow out the candles for a third time. Now, nah, say something. I blew your candle out. I seen you kept trying to put the candle back up. It's lit. 
This time, the candle goes out and he resumes talking trash to Bloody Mary. This could be proof that the legend is not real, or maybe Bloody Mary does not show up for non-believers. If it's not real, then I'd like to know why he couldn't blow out the candle. It doesn't really sound like he is acting. This port city in western Saudi Arabia looks like the aftermath of a building collapse, or else some kind of terrible eruption, but it's none of that. It's actually just starting and the worst is yet to come. The massive plume of smoke spreads evenly across the horizon, and at 1 minute and 15 seconds you briefly get a glimpse of where it finally ends. There's no outrunning this event and finding shelter is almost pointless. The cloud is growing taller by the minute as it heads towards them. The air is becoming gritty and it's getting harder to breathe. Vehicles desperately try to get away at the last second, but it's too late for any of them to get far, nor the cameraman for that matter, who seems resigned to his fate and makes no such attempt. This is a massive sandstorm, and if you haven't found shelter by now, you're in big trouble. The winds pick up and everything around him starts creaking unsteadily. Ja, dat is er nog. Dat is er nog zo'n storm. Oké. Dat is er nog, dat is er nog. Ja, zie je, zie je. Someone tell me what his last words are and if you think he made it through this event. Ja, dat is er nog. Dat is er nog. Dat is er nog. Those are the last recorded moments before I assume the sand broke his camera. We may not get to see what happens next, but I doubt it was anything good. Either way, there's something about the possibility of this whole town getting buried alive that makes this video creepy beyond words. This video comes from a YouTuber named Kusun2. He's a college student with an original Xbox that has a very strange and unexplainable problem. Every time he is hanging out by himself, his console likes to turn itself on. This happens so often that Kusun2 decides to record it for evidence. The only problem is that this Xbox appears to be camera shy. He'll stare and stare at it and it won't do a thing. It only seems to turn on when he is doing something else, almost as if it's trying to distract him. Even now as he films his Xbox and explains his story, it refuses to turn on by itself and makes him look like a fool. After talking for about 5 minutes, Kusun2 finally decides to test his theory and leaves the room. The Xbox does nothing for a long time, but then... Keep in mind that there's no way to turn on an original Xbox remotely, and he always keeps his controller neatly wrapped up on the top of the system, so he can't be using a controller that's out of sight. On top of that, things have been regularly disappearing and reappearing on their own, and now Kusun2 is extremely creeped out about being alone. This video is taken one summer on Vancouver Island in Canada. A YouTuber named Mushmasta is on a hike when he sees a huge humanoid creature that he still can't can't explain to this day over 10 years later. According to Mushmasta, the creature was 7 feet tall and stood on its hind legs to stare at him, but by the time he started recording, it was already hunched over and taking off. <sighs> At first I thought it was a bear, but look closer and you can almost make out the upper body of a human, especially the shoulders. It looks far more human than a bear judging from the way it walks away. In the end the creature chooses to leave Mushmasta alone in the woods, wondering what he had just encountered. Let me know what you think it was based on the brief video that I have shown you. No one has been able to solve this in over a decade. It turns out public buses are rife with incidents of alleged possessed people. This one turned up in San Luis, Argentina on June 7, 2016. A woman sits with her eyes closed, her head rolling around at random, and her mouth opening and closing. She is jerking all over, not once opening her eyes, and a terrible sound is heard at times coming from her mouth. Yay. 
What she is saying, if anything, is indiscernible. She continues jerking around, looking quite possessed, until a man walks forward and shakes her shoulder, attempting to bring her back around. The man says something to her, and she shouts back in her scratchy, possessed voice. He places his hand on her forehead, and that's where the footage ends. Was he attempting an exorcism? Was he doing something more sinister? It seems we'll never know. While well, most hospitals have some stories to tell, I'm guessing a World War II hospital has even more grisly ones on the docket. In this video, published by Subi in November of 2017, he and his friends explore an abandoned World War II hospital in Milton Keynes. For some reason, they chose the dead of night for their exploration, so straight off the mark, the hospital looks scary simply because it's cloaked in darkness. The only guiding light is the beam from Subi's flashlight. The crew enters in through a broken window. The pair have apparently been in the hospital before because one of them says he's not going down a certain direction because that's where they hear things all the time. At one point, they stop to listen because they both say they've heard something. It isn't clear what they've heard, but they continue on regardless. It sounds as if there's loads of glass on the ground as they walk through the building, cracking and breaking the shards beneath their boots. While the hospital doesn't turn up anything truly mind-blowing, the idea that World War II patients were once brought here conjures up images of scary times. Or maybe that's just my imagination. This is some of the most convincing footage I've seen in a while. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by AMRV underscore 5, this poltergeist activity left this resident with more questions than answers. The Redditor explains that she's been living in this apartment with two roommates for months, and they've noticed that nothing seems to stay on the walls, from pictures to posters. Due to the home's age, they thought that a lack of insulation and drafts were causing tape and sticky tack not to stay put. After being gifted some original artwork, they put some framed pictures up on the walls with nails, but the very first night, both of the frames fell from the wall. This happened a couple of nights in a row. One night, one of the pictures started moving slightly, so the Redditor broke out her camera and captured this. The video shows the frame moving, just as they'd witnessed before. It happens several times, and then the rolling chair swivels around. No one is near it. The Redditor pleads, can anyone tell me what this is? What's going on here? While well, some in the comments think there must be fishing line involved, some are suggesting that perhaps an air vent came on. There is, in fact, a vent up in the corner of the room. Still, others think it could possibly be a paranormal entity. A second video seems to suggest it's the latter. In the video, the Redditor does a vent test to see if the heating cycle is causing any sort of disturbance to the frame. As she's standing there waiting for the heater to come on, a loud disturbance is heard outside her room. <laughs> She heads over to investigate and finds a boot thrown on a stair below. As she's looking around, another loud bang is heard from back in her room. When she returns, the frame has fallen from the wall onto her desk. She notes that the air has not come on yet. While Redditors are convinced by the second video, Many are agreeing with then safety 5971 who writes, If it's fake, you still got me. What do you think? I can't think of any explanations outside of the paranormal. You have phantom co-workers? Well, you're not the only one. Published by David Condoli in February of 2017, this security footage was captured at around 5 in the morning. The video doesn't identify the workplace, but the footage shows a reception area, perhaps of a hotel. A man is sitting at the front desk on a computer when this happens. Maybe it's just a breeze, or so you would think. As the man stares at the piece of paper perplexed, a tree in the corner of the room starts to shake. 
This prompts the man to jump to his feet in shock. Spooky noise ensues, and this creepy combination sends the man leaping over the counter and fleeing this haunted place. Are his co-workers playing a trick on him? Or are his co-workers ghosts? Either way, he might want to start checking the job ads. You gotta pay the troll toll. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the redditor is wondering what's watching her son and nephew from under this bridge. She explains that the pair were night fishing. When her son told the person, animal, or monster to show itself, there was no reaction. The thing they capture from beneath the bridge appears to be peeking out from behind the wall. Some say it looks human, others think it's more demonic. But redditor user unknown writes, What many are thinking, I wouldn't stick around to find out. Neither would they apparently, because according to the redditor, the pair fled. But behind him, they heard clicking noises and something bashing through the trees. Perhaps a troll after his hard-earned cash. This footage was taken by an American tourist who was visiting Romania. He was just walking around a local zoo on his own, checking out the sights when he hears about a new attraction that is unlike any of the others. He is ushered into a dark farmhouse along with some other curious observers. Almost immediately, the tone of the video changes from skeptical to serious. It's hard to say exactly how, but something just feels wrong all of a sudden. You can hear the villagers talking among themselves, excitedly as they push past. Farm animals are making noises as the American makes his way deeper inside. This section is very dark now and even though the Romanians are speaking in a different language, you can tell that people are sounding worried and concerned as they come closer and closer to the main attraction. Finally, the American tourist sees it for himself. <laughs> Sitting across from them on a straw floor is what appears to be a white humanoid creature with black eyes and a wide gap for a mouth. It makes a series of tortured gurgling sounds and then charges towards its cage as the video quickly ends. It's hard to tell if this is a real creature or a man in a suit because the lighting is very dim. At the same time, Romania is a very rural country and anything could be lurking in the woods. Maybe someone really did capture this thing and drag it back to society to be gawked at by paying crowds. If this thing is real, then the poor humanoid sounds like it's been severely mistreated and probably needs help. It's past midnight at a police station in Pahang, Malaysia. A quiet crew plays chess to help pass the time, completely unaware of something that stays two moves ahead. <laughs> The faint outline of a figure leaves them fearfully singing for protection and clambering over each other to stay far away. A different police video taken 10 years later shows more scary things that are just beyond creepy. <laughs> In the darkness looms a mysterious figure, not wearing a reflective vest like everyone else, that also does not reveal any detail whatsoever, even when directly under the high-powered beam of a police flashlight. <laughs> Not to mention those crying noises coming from the woods. It could be speakers, but I really doubt the police would be wasting time faking paranormal videos, so either this is a joke being played on them, or else these scary ghost videos are actually real. I want to get the opinions of people from Malaysia where this video was made to help me decide if these creepy videos are real or part of a viral trend or what. Either way, you know the paranormal activity is bad, when even the police are too afraid to do something about it, not that there's much they can do. The Terror Al Extremo crew wanders the abandoned grounds of this haunted witch's house. In the middle of a forest, they hear a shrill shriek. <laughs> 
Well, it could be human, it could also be harmless. It sounds like a bird call, but shortly after, a figure that they capture in a window seems to suggest otherwise. Are the legends true? Is this the witch that's said to haunt this place? I'm starting to think that it wasn't a bird. With a Ouija board in hand, a YouTuber named Contagious Noise takes her girlfriend and her sister to an old barn that's just beyond city limits. They are positive that this barn is very very haunted and therefore the perfect place to contact the other side. The group laughs and carries on playfully at first, but it isn't long before the situation grows alarmingly serious. Tell me if it really looks like the pointer is moving all by itself here. I'm my grandma, I'm not doing it. Garrett? I swear on everything. I'm not. Look at my fingers. Are. Soon they contact the spirit of a four-year-old who could possibly be named Ryan. They are trying to ask him more questions when out of nowhere it spells out the name Grace, which is the name of one of the girls. The spirit doesn't seem to want to give any real answers. Sometimes the Ouija board simply spells letters at random. Just when they get the feeling that a spirit is messing with them, a random noise confirms their suspicions. And again. Or ask who the four-year-old was. Why they're here? Yeah. Each one of them promises that they are not playing a joke and they decide to try again. This time the Ouija board spells out a single word. Help. Uh, Say goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Soft rain falls in the desert and sends all sorts of creatures scurrying for cover, including this unwanted guest. Watch this part and be sure to translate what they are saying here if you can understand. A giant upside down scorpion makes its way across the top of his tent towards the camera with its arms open and pinchers extended. It looks highly aggressive and possibly poisonous, but any help identifying its exact classification and behavioral traits would be appreciated. Is there a ghost at this military base? Posted to the paranormal subreddit by Multifrapser, this creepy sound clip was captured in a base for the Finnish Defense Forces. The Redditor explains that the video was cut out of the clip for security reasons, but that it was recorded near a public road at around 10.30 p.m. in January of 2020. Though it's short, he said the sound continued for 45 minutes until 11.15 p.m. The Redditor writes, During the time I captured this clip, I kept watch at one of the checkpoints that led to the military base or garrison. He explains that the noise started to get quieter little by little until it vanished. Another military personnel had heard the same noises the night before around midnight. He also describes the base's surroundings. There is a town about 1.5 kilometers away that turns into a veritable ghost town around this time. There are also a central fire station and rural industries nearby, as well as a railroad track, but only one rail line is scheduled to pass there at a specific time and doesn't make this noise. On the opposite side of the base is a small bay, with only motor and sailboats that don't usually operate at this time of day or year. Across from the base is a water tower made of concrete, which is where he thinks the noise may be coming from, though he had never heard this sound before. He describes the surroundings that night as not windy. There are many different theories in the comments as to the source of this noise, with some suggesting it could be the mysterious sky trumpets that have been captured all over the world. Others suggest coronal mass ejections in the ionosphere, which have to do with the aurora borealis. It could also be singing ice, which is a sound effect that happens when frozen soil or rock cracks after water seeps in and freezes. Some also think the rhythmic oscillation sounds mechanical or like breathing, but Redditor PaulJS75 believes that the Redditor might be on the right track with the water tower theory writing. 
Keep in mind, when draining or filling the thing, there also has to be a way for air to get in or out. A lot of air rushing through a passage is going to make noise. What do you think this is? Do you have any other theories? I think no matter what the cause is, this would be terrifying to hear outside at night while being alone. A YouTuber named Rifat claims that going to this haunted place in Palestine proved to be a psychological undoing. Let's see what was so scary in this paranormal exploration gone wrong. He seems to have trouble keeping his balance and stumbles backwards twice for no reason. يا شباب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا شباب ولتجرب الله يقطع شر يوم تمت بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم at this point, I think he realizes there's no way he should be falling three times in five minutes and thinks a ghost could be near. As he is trying to decide if this is really happening or just his imagination, some of the best paranormal EVP evidence ever recorded is caught on camera. Loud and scary screaming noises are coming from the woods. The screams of a human, most certainly not an animal. <laughs> he doesn't investigate the noise because this could be a spirit setting up a trap that he is too smart to fall for. I'm glad he didn't go any further. If he had gone any deeper into the forest to see what it was, then this scary video might not ever have been uploaded. I have a feeling that he narrowly avoided getting ambushed by some group of bandits or even something paranormal. Who's tapping at the window at 3am? This video by TikToker, Diego Spikers will have you deadbolting your door. You can see a woman through the window aggressively knocking at the bathroom door of this apartment. But when the guy opens it to her, no one is there. Where did she go? Some in the comments say this could be After Effects editing. Others say he should have knocked back. I personally like that idea. Which side are you on here? Reddit, the origin of all things internet creepy. Redditor Kiaha alleges that the link to this video was emailed to her, recently writing, I have no idea where this tape came from, but it truly does scare me. The video is titled simply One Sept and was uploaded to YouTube by Igor ASD. It shows what appears to be an abandoned building being explored in the dark with a flashlight. After a bit of meandering, the shot comes across a sign that says in Russian, museum work, along with a schedule, likely listing the museum's opening hours. Around two and a half minutes into the video is where the true creepiness happens. A shadowy figure appears in the shot of a doorway across a dark room. It walks through the doorway and the camera's light goes dark. The screen goes blue. After this, a series of images of a building appear, footage through a peephole, and the film's final image, a still figure in front of a glowing monitor. What is this piece? Could it be found footage? What do you think it is? I think it's certainly scary. It's the middle of the night and Anna Grayson keeps hearing heavy thumping sounds coming from the hallway. She spends a full minute walking around to make sure that everybody is asleep, which they are. As soon as she gets back into her room, the house becomes extremely still and suspenseful. I get the sensation of being watched here, do you? <laughs> Anna 
Anna does not feel safe at all, peeks under the door, probably half expecting to see shoes on the other side. She doesn't see that, but what she experiences next indeed confirms her suspicions. The fact that she patrols the entire house and hears nothing until the moment she steps back into her room makes me think that someone else is in the house with Anna and her family, something that will patiently wait until everyone's guard is down to strike. It's almost midnight when this YouTuber makes the mistake of going for a late night motorcycle ride. Completely unaware of the paranormal activity about to be caught on camera, he sees a figure in white and slows down, suddenly feeling unsafe and vulnerable with a ghost in his sights. As he speeds away, he says the mysterious figure appears and disappears in the side view mirror. I kind of see what he's saying but the mirror is so dirty that I'm not sure if this proves much of anything. Still, what this person is doing by themselves at midnight is anyone's guess. They seem to be slowly looking for something, which is beyond creepy when you think about it. Mysterious lights keep showing up outside this man's residence. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, Eduardo Ferreira captured the intriguing recurring lights of potential unidentified flying objects, which he published in both August and November of 2021. The August footage shows a bright white light drifting in the night sky. A close-up shows that it appears to be multicolored and twinkling. The light then flies quickly across the skies, vibrant against the dark dark clouds above. It drifts overhead until the view is blocked by an adjacent building. The second video, filmed in November, shows a series of bright blue twinkling lights, the same size as the first. They float in front of another adjacent building, just drifting there, but not moving in any pattern or course, as the previous light did. So after seeing both clips, what do you think? To what do these lights belong? Is there a logical explanation? Or are these lights cause for extraterrestrial concern, given the fact that Edward has caught it twice on camera already? I doubt it will be the last time he sees this. Kathy and her family often hear scary sounds coming from a basement they've long suspected to be haunted by a paranormal entity. Objects tend to move all by themselves down here and this time, on July 3rd of 2020, a loud bang from the symbols of their drum kit sends their father downstairs to investigate. Kathy stays on the steps and Jade and her daughter is too afraid to venture down there at all. The father cautiously takes a few steps into the room and doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. A strange sensation of being watched keeps them all on alert. And then... You heard it though, right? I don't hear anything now. <gasps> oh my... Two empty bottles fall off the ledge with no one nearby. Nobody is hiding in the corner to pull a string, and there's no room for anyone to stand behind the bottles. The objects just move on their own, like a ghost pushed them. Or maybe Jaden stood at the top of the steps and pulled a string. Who knows? Weirder still is a ghost sighting on TikTok taken four days prior. This time using the ghost hunting app called Reality Ripple. Kathy's alone in the basement talking about previous encounters when she's literally interrupted by what she thinks are ghost orbs. I turned on the... Oh, what was that? Look like an orb, I don't know. She turns on the Reality Ripple ghost hunting app and is surprised to find there's way more paranormal evidence down in the basement that's been right in front of her eyes the whole time. It is, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
the app is only supposed to show color around living things, but paranormal entities are known to trip the app too. In other words, TikTok detects a ghost attached to her husband's drums. An alternative explanation is that the drums somehow look like the outline of a person, but I don't see how. Not even a painting of an actual person is enough to set it off, so I don't see how these drums would. With all of this paranormal evidence in mind, tell me if you think they are really haunted by a ghost, or if the whole family is playing a joke. This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking, posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic. Maddie writes that she lives alone, and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole, waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document everything everything and protect themselves. This was truly one creepy neighbor. Have you ever come across a haunted playground at night? This YouTuber has. He describes this perfectly chilling nightmare fuel with even more chilling imagery writing. While driving around in some unknown forest, I found this person rocking on some kind of swing. That description alone is enough to send chills down your spine, but watch the video and you won't be able to get this nightmare out of your head. As the person filming sits inside his vehicle, shutting the headlights off and on again at random, the person rocking on some kind of swing is caught in the headlights. When the lights shut off, the next time they shine, the figure is in a different area of the forest. Its disappearance and reappearance are completely unsettling, especially when the figure comes closer and closer and closer until he disappears. Somehow his absence is the most upsetting part of the entire clip. That is, until... And that's where this video ends, leaving us wondering what happened to this unfortunate cameraman. Christina Carr is all alone in her old attic in New Jersey, but she feels like she is constantly being watched. She invites anything lurking in the shadows to make its presence known. Is anybody in here with me? It isn't long before she gets a response. No. Goodness. She does not hear it at the time, but the disembodied voice of an older woman timidly asks hello. The voice sounds alarmed and confused, almost like it's asking for help. Christina continues to poke around the attic asking questions until she gets another potential sign in the form of distant sirens. Store a few things, that's all. I hear some kind of alarm. Let me know if you think this alarm was just a coincidence or if you think a paranormal presence was somehow trying to warn Christina to stay away from the attic. A YouTuber named Papa Pepper is about to let his family play in the water when he senses something is wrong. The protective father decides to err on the side of caution and proceeds to check the water hole for any signs of danger. Just doing a quick look to make sure everything was safe. And up underneath this log, it's cotton mouth. 
water moccasin. Hiding under this log, just barely poking out of the water, is the head of a fiercely territorial snake glaring back at the camera. And up underneath here, way in the front of that log. If you can make that out. Oh yeah, you can make that out. What is that? Big old water moccasin, guys. They are highly venomous and will go after people who intrude. They are the only type of water snake that puts up a battle rather than back down and will send someone to the hospital. Check it out down there. Let's focus in the center of the screen. Where you at? Find it. Find it. There you go. There's another one. Papa Pepper is smart to have checked for them before letting his family swim here. Otherwise, they could have gotten seriously messed up. Secret rooms are usually viewed as whimsical, but they can also be terrifying. Tati explains that her brother's room had always had a gross smell in it, so the family brought a guy in to check it out. What he found is straight out of the movie Saw. Two hidden rooms were discovered through the wall of a storage room on the side of their house. Two rooms that they didn't even know existed. The rooms were linked to her brother's closet. Once they removed the shelves in the closet, they found a loose wall, opened it with a hanger, and discovered this mini door behind it. They opened it to find the two rooms. The rooms are quite spacious. Tati claims the floors were covered with dirt and grime and had been soaked in bleach by the guy. What did the previous homeowners have to hide away in these hidden rooms? We'll never know, and maybe we don't want to. A group of friends are hanging out late at night when a strange yelping sound brings them to a window to investigate. Do you hear that? What the? They start to argue about if it sounds like a regular animal in distress or some sort of rare and mysterious creature. Listen to these noises and tell me if this sounds like anything you've ever heard in the woods before. All of them soon start to feel uncertain about hanging around the open window and back away. I think it sounds like it could possibly be an animal that's being hunted but I'm not sure. What do you think is happening and would you be brave enough to go into the woods and find out? I wouldn't. Two friends are feeding their pet rabbits in the living room when they suddenly hear a mysterious noise coming from outside. Both of them are feeling pretty brave as they creep up the window and continue recording. As tough as they might be, neither of them are prepared for what they see next. There's something like, crouching down there. Yeah, could you get the light? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's something back there. Outside, some sort of orange four-legged humanoid is facing away from them. It's very low to the ground. Look directly under the clothesline if you can't see it. It's a strange glowing color that doesn't seem to belong in this world. Play the tape again in slow motion and you can clearly see the humanoid sprint away as soon as one of them knocks on the window to get its attention. It's clearly startled as it retreats over a fence with a speed too fast for its bulky body. The two of them rush out in the backyard for a fight, but they find that the creature is already gone. They check a nearby alley and quickly give up. Nobody was hurt. As for what the humanoid was doing, perhaps it smelled the scent of two rabbits and went in search of a fresh meal. It's every urban explorer's worst nightmare. YouTuber Exploring with Danny apparently uncovered four bodies while exploring this abandoned place. His dog came across them first. Diesel! Diesel, what are you doing, boy? After entering, Danny realizes he's happened upon a grim scene. Oh, my. I want to think it's fake, but Danny's reaction seems all too real. Oh my Diesel, come on. Diesel, 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 get the f Come on, Diesel, Diesel, come on, boy. We need to replace Diesel. On September 24th, 2016, 
Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. The CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the servicemen's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground, which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKeague continues. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.